thoughts first and foremost on Saturday's game. Buffalo, shout out to Nesta, by the way. Huge Buffalo Bills fan. This is your opportunity to take the division. It's it, like it, it, even even with uh, how much Tom has been struggling, I just don't know if uh, you know if if they can beat the the Patriots right now. Like I, and that defense is playing great, but you know sometimes they'll like like you like to say they're wet the bed. You know the the, the Eagles well, put up term, so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, it's, we on TV, Eric, we live. All right, but yeah, <laughs> but uh, you know they gave up twenty eight points to the Eagles. You know, right. so sometimes they can you know give up that defense can can give a little bit, and then if the offense isn't playing like they should be, which uh, again, like we we mentioned that when Nesta came on to the show again, is they hit or miss. If they're clicking and and and, and they're not turning over the football, that defense can lock in some, some games. I just don't know, you know what I'm saying, with in this particular matchup with the Patriots, their defense is really good. And, um, you know, I don't know if, if Josh Allen is going to be able to, to get past that defense because you're going to have to score. And I don't know if they can uh, they can score on that defense or not. Uh, but so I'm, I'm taking the Patriots. I'm sorry. I agree. You have to take the Patriots in this game. Uh, Buffalo's offense hasn't shown me enough just yet for me to be confident yeah. in a money game of this type of magnitude. Exactly. Um, they played well against Dallas. They played well last week in the second half against Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. uh, but those are situations where you're not facing a championship caliber team. Yeah. You know, no, no, no disrespect to Dallas. They're they're a feisty team. They ain't the Patriots. That's not. Yeah, exactly. Pittsburgh out there with Duck Hodges. And that ain't Bill Belichick either. Right. Pittsburgh out there with Duck Cameras Hodges, that ain't the Patriots. <laughs> yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? yeah. So this is going to be their biggest test. They played them very tough the first time they matched up. Mm -hmm. But again, I agree. I think the Patriots win. I think they lock up the division. And then the real conversation becomes, can they lock up one of those buys? Because yeah. Baltimore looks like they're going to get to the number one seed. Yeah, I think that's that's a lot. That's, you know, I, I don't right. see. I mean, I know they got two division games left, which can always be tricky. But I just uh, the way the Browns are going right now, and then you know they, they finish off the season versus versus the Steelers. Defense is clicking. Lamar Jackson is. I'm, I, I, he, I mean, he's got the MVP locked. I think at this point. I mean, not only are they clicking, but I mean, uh, we see the Browns. Some of the guys don't even want to be there anymore. Yeah. I mean, uh, Miles exactly. Garrett is done for the season. Obviously, we know about that situation. But Odell and Jarvis Landry this week, it was reported that both of them have uh, insinuated to other teams, "Get me out of here. Yeah. I want to be gone." So. Yeah. So I, I think Baltimore. Will. I think Baltimore gets to the number one seed. Yeah. Again, if if New England can win this weekend, which we both think they will. Then yeah. the entry becomes, can Kansas City catch them? Because Kansas City has a tie break over them since they beat them. Can they win enough games to catch them? Would the Patriots slip up at any point down the stretch? Yeah, and I, I think that, first of all, again, this is another game that I need to I, I need for fantasy for because I got, mm -hmm. I got my home as my starting quarterback right now in fantasy football. So I'm going to need him to turn up. And they're still in a position where they can actually get a bye uh, in, in the first round of the playoffs, so they're gonna they're gonna be balling out. They're gonna be playing this this season. They're not taking uh, no days off. Absolutely. Um, you know, so it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun weekend. But I think that I think that the Patriots again, the Patriots will win. The Chiefs will win, and they're gonna they're gonna win Keep conventionally. The yep. They have to. And again, that's what. I think it's going to come down to week 17 as far as who's going to get that first round by. And that is actually going to determine how far the Patriots go this uh, in this playoffs. Yeah, I think it's really important for the Patriots to at least get to that, hold on to that number two seed, I should say. Yeah. And at least force one game at Foxborough. Yep. Um, because they struggled against the Ravens. They've struggled against the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. um, they struggled against the Texans. Yeah. So, you know, those are matchups that they want to at least get one of those at home as opposed to having to travel on the road for that. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk.